wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Come here. I know we're not gonna do this shit right now. Really? I'm saying. You go ahead and go then. Go ahead and go. Chat. I swear to God, my right hand to God. This bitch just broke my car window, nigga. My back seat window, nigga. Man, bro. I swear to God. chat. I'm finna end the stream, bro. I'm finna end. It. What? Holy f bro. Man, f this stream is shit, bro. I holly child. Nigga. Fellas, at this point. Dealing with the Western modern woman should be considered a vice. It should be up there with alcohol, drugs, working girls, and gambling, especially gambling. Why do I say that? Because name something more dangerous to your mental health, freedom, finances, career, life expectancy, reputation, and legacy. In the black community, we got two kinds of brothers that only date black women. The lucky pro-black and the hard-headed maniac. The lucky pro-black is the one that went to the casino, struck gold, and will try to influence you to follow the same path. And they tend to be old like Uncle Stanley Earl that used to give us advice and tell us to shoot that tongue in that ass. Oh, uh-uh. Oh my God, no, this ain't God. This is Stanley Earl. The lucky pro black is what I like to call a bad role model. Don't listen to him. Cause if you do, you gonna end up like number two, the hard headed maniac that don't know when to cut his losses. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me you don't know of a dude that only date black women that ain't got fucked up by him. He didn't had his car messed up, been drugged to court, can't see his kids, the police been called, all kinds of crap. And one of those hard headed maniacs is a popular TikToker by the name of Scars, who was recently arrested for a domestic dispute with his beautiful beautiful black Adeline, I mean queen. And like I said in my last video, why high value men marry Becky over Shanene, they don't care who's around when it's time to take you to pound town. But unlike most men, Scars decided to retaliate by wiggling his big toe back off in her ass. And I want to know the other uh, context behind everything, you know what I'm saying? Oh no, it is what it seemed like. Yeah, I beat that bitch ass. No, it ain't no secret. It ain't no secret. Listen here, Aiden. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, that shit felt so fucking good, bro. I don't know if you know what happened, but we was on monkey and shit, and we was looking, we was trying to get to show us. And boy, I'm telling you, we had this uh, this Mexican bitch, and she wound up pulling out her and shit had something the juicy. And the two hours with, she didn't like it, so she started hitting me and shit. And I said, Aiden, it's gonna be the last time a bitch fuck up my goddamn stream. And so I went fucking postal. I'm talking about straight Deontay Wilder on the bitch, nigga. <laughs> I didn't fucking stop. Man. You're going to jail, bitch. I do. I fuck with a lot of black bitches. You know, black bitches are bigger, stronger. They hit harder. All right. I, um, the first couple of licks, it might not hurt, but that don't stop a bitch from grabbing a pen, grabbing a fucking broken bottle, or grabbing a knife and stabbing the shit out of you. Really? Whenever you feel like, oh, no, nah, trust me, bro. I seen it plenty of times where a small bitch have left some serious damage on a bigger because he tried to hold his old macho ass, I ain't gonna hit no bitch back ass goddamn persona, and that shit winds up welling on him. He ain't lying. Fellas, when you deal with the black queens in one way or another, you gonna need some Vaseline. Scars has made himself the perfect candidate for cancel culture. He got popular on TikTok and YouTube for his comedic and outlandish dating advice. How to spot big on day naps. How to know some bad coochie when you see it. How to put a bitch in the silver surfer surfboard. The number one way to meet some bitches. How to make a bitch tap out. How to make a ball koozie for your nut sack. Guys, know how to legally two piece a bitch. Jesus Christ. But now, after this whole incident, people are looking at his content like a literal reflection of his mindset. Hey, then we gotta stop doing this shit. We got too much power as it is. The last thing they need to do is Act like they want to be men, but then go back to being bitches when it come down to comeback. No, if you're going to be a man, you're going to be a man all the way. Just deserve to get their ass whooped. Bro. It ain't just Aiden. It's bitches. It's kids, even toddlers. If anybody is putting their fucking hands on you and you tell them to stop and they keep doing it, you got the right to knock the shit out of well, them. Well, even if it's a 
fucking baby. No, all right, come on. A baby, a two year. Now you know why I said what I said at the beginning of the video when I was talking about vices and hard headed maniacs. People that indulge in vices know it's bad for them, yet they do it anyway. It's like they can't help themselves. They can self diagnose and they can prescribe their own cure. So why can't they seem to quit? Well, the first reason is pretty simple, and it's that ass. God, hey. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Come on, man. Damn. God, hey. Lord have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Booty addiction is real. First, you gotta tell her to leave. Then you gotta watch her walk away. That's when the lizard brain kicks in and your mind starts playing tricks on you. All you can think about is how some other man is about to enjoy your favorite pillow, your favorite position, and your favorite place to bust shoelaces. They never really get over that favorite toy complex that they developed as kids. The toughest pill to swallow as a man is the fact that she's not yours, it's just your turn. And these men try to fight against it to their own detriment. So instead of sending her back to where she belongs, they worried about who gonna suck them off that night. The number two reason is that these men can consistently meet the Jezebel-minded black woman standards. This is your man. Yes. Look at the screen. That's mine. And, and, I, and, that's, and, that's, and that's what you're gonna settle for. I'm gonna stick beside him. No matter what? No matter what, whatever we go through, I'm going to stick this out. Meanwhile. That's right. When she your queen and she beautiful, you treat her just like that. Open up doors for that gorgeous lady. That's right, queen. Man, she gets on my nerves. I can't stand her. All she do is nag, argue, can't cook, can't do nothing <laughs> at all. And, but when that's your queen, <laughs> you do whatever she say. Ain't that right, gorgeous? Yeah. My queen, my wife for life. Ain't that right? I love you, girl. I love you. <laughs> The Jezebel-minded black woman knows exactly the type of black man to target, the non-free thinker. Most of these men have a mindset that keeps them in a box. They're typically religious, pro-black, or play behind the wall of lies the sisterhood raised them on. And the most devastating trait that these men possess is the prideful inability to recognize the weakness in their own mindset, even though their situation is proof. Hey, chill, chill, chill. No, don't be going, don't be looking sad now. Hell, I ain't pull your motherfucking hair out your motherfucking head. You pull my hair out my motherfucking head. Don't be sitting there looking all fucking sad now, nigga. You see me goddamn putting on that performance because, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. But wait, there's more. Get on it. <laughs> Fellas, if you ever find yourself in a violent situation with a woman, the first thing that you should do is take out your phone and start recording. If you're ever in an in-person situation where you're about to break up with your girlfriend, the first thing you should do before you break up with her is take out your phone and start recording. Let your phone be your testimony because a camera is the enemy of idiots. Oh, what the? Wow. Wow. You got, you got the. Wow. You got this on dash cam. All right, all right. All jokes aside, unless you're protecting yourself, which should be easy to do, proper men do not engage in physical combat with women. I shouldn't have to tell you that, and I shouldn't have to tell you to avoid women that bring that energy out of you. How many examples of men do you need that have lost their lives, their freedom, or their legacy behind a toxic woman? Statistically, the Western modern woman is far more likely to harm you 
then help you. Until there is a culture that teaches women to put men on a pedestal, you need to recognize the Western modern woman is comparable to a casino in Vegas. Many men come inside feeling like winners, get taken for all they got, and walk away a loser. Because Black Kings was taught a fake razzle-dazzle by our mothers, but we always give her the credit she deserves. Michael. And now I'll give it some razzle-dazzle. <laughs> that's my mom. But anyway, man, that's the video for today. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like the damn video. Be sure to click here to see why rich black men would rather marry a snow bunny over black women's black asses in America. Be sure to follow me on my TikTok at NGE, never good enough, all one word. Or follow me on Instagram at NGE underscore never good enough. And if you want to do some business with me, hit me up on my email at NGE never good enough at gmail.com. And remember, become the change you want to see. It's your boy, NGE. Peace.